This video is an introduction to using the UK CEH Countryside Survey Soil Datasets. There are five ways of accessing this data and we will show what each has to offer. You can also use the chapters or the timestamps in the description below to navigate the video. The UK CEH Countryside Survey is the longest integrated national monitoring programme of the countryside for Great Britain. Soil surveys have been carried out in 1978, 1998, 2007 and now continue as a five-yearly rolling survey from 2019 onwards. The survey is carried out across 501 km squares, which have been selected to capture a representative sample of the wide variety of soils and conditions across GB. Within each of these 1 km squares, we have five randomly located soil sampling sites, which are co-located with our vegetation monitoring program and that we revisit every survey. From these sites, we take five 15 cm soil cores, which are used for a wide range of measurements, and allow us to preserve material for future research in the UK CEH Soil Bank. This design provides a robust and representative insight to soils across a wide range of habitats and conditions and how they change over time. The samples also create a large soil repository for rapid assessment on emerging issues and asking new research questions. The Countryside Survey soil data is freely available and can be accessed and used through five principal methods. One, for the best and most up-to-date information on accessing Countryside Survey data, you can visit the UKCEH Countryside Survey website at countrysidesurvey.org.uk. Two, download the full dataset from the Countryside Survey from the EIDC. Three, access our soil sample archive by visiting the UKCEH Soil Bank website. 4. Visualise our data for GB at the UK Soil Observatory. 5. And compare your soil's health to similar sites across GB using the UK CEH Countryside Survey Soil Fundamentals SOD app, which is available from the Countryside Survey website. Option 1. The UKCEH Countryside Survey website is a central source of information to learn more about the mission, design and history of the Countryside Survey, as well as for accessing Countryside Survey data. To start, navigate to countrysidesurvey.org.uk or Google Countryside Survey to find our website. On the website, you can learn more about the current survey programme the different components of the survey programme, including soil and vegetation survey programmes, find our datasets, web tools, and access our publications, including all technical reports about the survey design and methods used. Option two, downloading the full dataset from the Countryside Survey on the EIDC. If you want to access the full dataset for investigation and analysis, the full history of the Countryside Survey dataset can be downloaded for free from the EIDC. You can also access this page directly through the links on the Countryside Survey website. Click on Find Data and search Countryside Survey. Open the Countryside Survey data collection to see all available years. Select the survey year with the data you are interested in, then select the dataset. There are a large number of datasets listed here, including the soil and vegetation datasets. The principal soil products are the physiochemical products, which are available in every year. In some years, you can also find data on aggregate stability, biological community data, and data on heavy metals pollution. To download the data from the EIDC, scroll down and click the download button of the dataset you want. This provides you with a CSV file and the supporting documentation, which explains what the table headings mean. There is also guidance on how to correctly cite the data. Option 3. To get access to our soil samples, visit the UKCEH Soil Bank. All the soil samples we collect for physical and chemical analysis are preserved as an air-dried sample available for future measurements along with two extra cores. 
We also collect samples for biological processing, which is stored at minus 20 degrees C. With over 9,000 air-dried samples and over 7,000 frozen samples available, requests to access and use subsamples of these cores can be made online. Search for the UKCEH Soil Bank and email us at UKSoilBank at ceh.ac.uk to make requests. A new Soil Bank Explorer tool to discover more information about these samples and the facility is also coming soon. Option 4. To see how GB soil properties vary by habitat at the GB level, see our data at the UK Soil Observatory website, hosted by the British Geological Society. Countryside survey data is integrated into the UKSO platform along with many other soil datasets. To view maps of GB soils derived from CS Soils data, click on the UKSO Map Viewer and click Add Layers. The Countryside Survey has supplied many layers, including soil biodiversity, soil carbon, soil moisture, soil nutrients, soil pH and soil properties. To view all CS map products together, or find more information about their production, or for information on how to download these products, instead select Other Resources from the home page, then go to Static Maps and Countryside Survey Topsoil. Option 5. If you want to compare your soils to national benchmarks developed from the Countryside Survey, we recommend using our soil health web tool, SOD. You can access the tool through our website. Use the app to select the data for similar sites across the UK. Choose the relevant habitat type from a list or using a map. Choose the relevant soil type from the list or use the key to figure out which soil type is relevant to you. Then, estimate the annual rainfall at your site, or match to the annual rainfall at the specific location using the map. The app shows you the below typical, typical and above typical ranges for four soil health indicators for all the GB soil samples that match your site description. The colours used indicate whether being above, below or typical is considered good or bad for soil health. Using the boxes on the top, you can input your own measurements to see how your site compares to the rest of the nation. Consult the Assessment Guidance tab at the top of the page for help collecting comparable samples. Click the Download button at the top to keep a copy of your assessment sheet. We hope you've been able to find the data you need. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions please contact Countryside Survey at ceh.ac.uk Explore our other training videos here on our YouTube channel.